What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're showing you the top 16 decks from the PPG Provisionals Showdown. There was a huge provisional hosted by PPG about a week ago. And right now we have the top 16 decks. I really like doing these videos. They inspire me to build better decks. And that's really the goal behind this video is to help you guys look at what's winning. Uh, check it out and see if maybe it can you can change your playstyle a little bit or get inspired and build something uh, from what you are seeing. So let's just jump right in. There's a lot of decks to look through. Uh, let's just go to top 16. So the first one will be uh, 16th place. Christopher Smith, All Might 3, which is insane. I love All Might 3. You guys know what he does. He's an 8-hander, basically, because you commit him and you commit to Foundation, you draw 2. He also gives every Fury or Punch Attack plus 1 or minus or plus 1 speed or plus 1 damage based on what you want and based on how many cards the opponent has. So pretty, uh, looking at the setup here, the only thing different uh, that I see here is the Heroic Strike, which is a really good card. Uh, you know, you, you use a setup, you use a Texas, you use a reverse through into a setup strike. You give the next attack plus three speed. Then you go into Heroic Strike, that's, you're gonna get seven speed attack, and you have, the opponent has to commit all his foundation, basically three, three foundations. It makes sense to be in this deck. Everything he has is punches. Heroic Strike is really strong. He also runs a pretty interesting number of hardened chops, guys. Only two. Uh, maybe he just doesn't like the four, the anything higher than five difficulty. He doesn't want the five difficulties. Too many of them it makes sense. Hardened chop is just so good because <coughs> it really does. It really lets you draw th two for one foundation. Right, because All Might two, three. Whenever you see Harden Shop, you use All Might three's ability on one of the face down foundation, and then you just destroy that foundation and rebuild. Uh, so it allows you to basically start the game with the uh, eight cards in hand, and just for one committing, uh, which is insane. Anyways, uh, only one plus Ultra is all he needed, so maybe you don't even need that in the deck. I do see him running a lot of threes, which is a nice way to run the decks. I might try that. He is running three pull no punches. This is something that uh, <clears throat> I don't use in my own deck, but maybe I should start using destroy, add one pinch attack from the card pool to your momentum. Um, interesting. I just don't have a lot of cards that use the momentum. For example, only thing that uses momentum here is literally his setup strike. Hardened Pummel does use momentum, but it's in his side deck. So that's not going to be very helpful. But yeah, it's basically setup strike is the only momentum uh, user. And a gift from mom, obviously. Uh, so yeah, it makes sense. If he has gift of mom, but, but he only runs one gift of mom, so he barely sees it. If he does see it, it's like a luck thing. But I'm, I'm sure if you run two, you'll see it every game. If you run one, maybe you'll see it once. I get it. I get it. You don't want to see too many of it because you're only going to use one of it. But uh, sometimes you won't ever see it. That's the problem. Planning ahead at one. That's pretty interesting. Maybe if he knows. The decks he's going to, maybe if he's familiar with them, uh, this is where this is useful. Uh, the only reason I don't see too many of it in the main deck is because it's actually a really bad block. So even if you don't want to use it, <laughs> it just sucks to block with. Also, you're so obvious, just a two, maybe he has the rest. No, he only has two, so you're so obvious. He doesn't even have any more. That's all he needs, maybe. Uh, so it, it is a 39 foundation deck, 20 attack deck, and one action. So there's 60 cards in this deck. And uh, let's check out his side deck, Capturing Evildoers at 2, pretty nice. Staggering Positivity. Haven't used this card yet. It is a 3. Hardened Pummel at 2, really nice attack, I really like it. Resistance, Bonds of Friendship, and 1 or plus Ultra Resistance, probably in case there's more stunners. Bonds of Friendship, maybe if he's going against another Fury guy, maybe... Uh, a Shigaraki, <clears throat> but yeah, that's the deck guys. I really like it. I'm uh, getting inspired. Maybe I don't think pull no punches, but I will add celebrity status to my deck because you could just add your one of your momentum to the top and then draw them with all might. It's really not that bad. And also I need uh, to reduce my gift from mom to one. Anyways, let's move on. This is Rikido Sato by Marcus McKinney. Really nice. We know what Sato does. He adds stuns, so you really want a bunch of stunners. He does run kicks here, two kicks. Your main card really is Indiscriminate Shockwave. 1,300,000 volts. Engine Rush here. I don't really see this card a lot. 
and reciprocal extend because he was running a bunch of punch uh, kicks. So really unique play style, not really focused on the stunners, more, <coughs> excuse me, more off. He's just focusing on combos and maybe pushing out some electric jolts and some free damage early on with his throws and then using that to end the game. Um, let's see if there's anything special we see here calling for backup. It's interesting he only has one. This is like the only card he has that draws for him. The order has the draws besides, uh, what's the other card? Besides passing the torch, exactly. Those are the only two cards that draw. So it's really interesting to only see one of this. Uh, Desperate times of two, I get that. Creep realization of four, okay. Maybe maybe the, maybe the card, the, when he uses this, he just doesn't have to block. Maybe that's why it's at four. Shock treatment at four. I guess he does control the opponent with his own foundation. Classmate introductions gives a little extra speed. Short circuit at one. Heroic lineage at one. Fulfill my duty at one. All the defensive options are at one. I guess. Okay. All the defensive options are at one. All his. Well, no, sticky balls is pretty uh, high here at four. Interesting. Interesting deck. Uh, interesting play style. You either run four off, two offs, or just one off a certain card. <clears throat> I'm really worried. I'm, I cannot believe calling for backup is only a one-off. I mean, I would. Uh, I run. This is the only draw I have for Akito Sato besides passing the torch. I would run four. That's how my Sato works. And I um, mean, he does have Mineta on the side. He only has seven cards for this side deck. This is a sixty-three card deck, and he runs Grasping Tape Toss, Eat My Sticker Balls, One for All, Full Cowling, and one more plus Ultra. I guess that's maybe if he switches to Mineta, he can do that. <coughs> Very interesting deck. Mineta is insane. He's really good. He commits foundations when he blocks. He's so good. Yeah, really cool, uh, interesting deck to see. Let me know what your opinions are, guys. Let's move on. Number 14 is Steven Gibbs. Asui. In insane Asui. I know Asui actually took first place, so let's check this out. Let's see the differences. Frigid Heatwave at 4, Frog Lashing at 4, Chrome Frog Take It Down at 4, Tongue Whip at 4, Tongue Smack. Pretty basic, 20 attacks. 34 foundations, 54 card deck. This is basically how I build my decks. Uh, he does run Observant Student. He does want information. Only 2 Frozen. And only 2 Walklings. Very interesting. So he's really not looking for that defensive option. Uh, he does run a bunch of defense here, tape completed, tape, uh, risky completed tape, and walkling. I don't know how... I can't believe risky completed didn't make it into the, into the actual main deck. That's interesting. He does run first villain encounter, maybe that's uh, why. Cause there's no spot. And yeah, his average difficulty is actually 2.59. Wow, that's crazy. Anyways, guys, that's the deck. Frigid Heatwave is going to give him a lot of draw. And that's number 14. Uh, nothing really special. I really like how this deck is pretty organized. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, 13th, Andrew Williams, Kurogiri. Wow. If you guys don't know what he does, look at the top uh, card of your deck. Look at the top and bottom card of your deck. You may add the bottom to the top. That's it. Once per turn. And you can do it every turn. Commit. After your rival plays an attack, add it to you, the bottom of their deck. Choose one attack in your rival's discard pile and add it to their hand. So they have to play the attack, they have to pass it, they have to commit the cards, then you get to choose if you want to use his response or not. <laughs> Freaking insane. And Krugir is actually on top. Uh, we see reciprocal acceleration kicks, grasping tape toss. This is a very similar deck to the Sato that we just saw. It just has no... Uh, <clears throat> it does add the uh, reciprocal burst here for two of them. So he is running order. We see Tay, Bonds of Friendship, Passing the Torch, Fulfilled My Duty, Natural Leader, Short Circuit at one. He does run Henatisero in his side deck. It is a 60 card deck, 62 card deck with plus ultras. And he does have four tape swings in his. Uh, for Cero. Yeah, for Cero. He does add one extra plus ultra. What's their plan? I've never used this card. And one more, Fulfill My Duty. Fulfill My Duty is really good uh, defensive option, especially in a seven-hander deck. 
Yeah, really insane. I mean, the the the, the actual character is insane, very controlly, and uh, gives you a lot of information. You can look at your deck, and uh, it's just it makes sense to have it. I, I sold mine for seventy five bucks, but I wish I didn't. It's really strong. I have Kirk Polka here. Kirk Polka, he's running a 59 card deck, actually 60 card deck, no, 50 card deck, sorry, 50 card deck with Ushaku, I love Ushaku one, let's see what he runs, home run coming at 4, 3, 4 meteors, 2 zero gravity, 4 frog lashing, allow you to extend your plays, plus breaker 1, naval laser beam, breaker 2, and <coughs> unflips your foundation, Phidias ambush, <coughs> and setup strike, excuse me guys. One more plus ultra, so actually 51 card deck. No, 50 card deck. Never mind. Sorry. First villain encounter at one. Bonds of friendship at four. Passing. Oh, he is running infinite potential. Looks like he doesn't have any low blocks. That's why. Um, yeah, pretty basic card deck. Looks like he just tries to pu punch out early. And then he does actually run setup strike. So what is he using? He's using life. He's running life. This is life with Chaku that actually took first place. Uh, th uh what, what is it? Twelfth place. Pretty amazing to see. Release very defensive, encouraging partner defensive. This one lets her gain health too. I mean, this is a really good deck. Only two amphibious? Wow. That's pretty brave. All right, moving on, guys. 11th place is Shal Pena. All my three. Another good. All my three. Uh, celebrity status at three. Man, I need to add this card in my deck. He does run Missouri Smash. Allows him to draw more. It's insane. And build foundations. It's just such a strong card. Hardened Pummel here at 3. Wow, he's using a lot of Hardened Pummel. He even has more. How does he have two more? <laughs> he's running three already. <laughs> you only have one more space for one more. Um, he is running four Capture Lever Doers. Uh, wow, remove one momentum. If you did, add the top card of your deck to the momentum. <coughs> remove this card from the game. Remove one rival momentum, sorry. And also you could use this other ability, discard one momentum, discard up to three cards from your card pool. So really, really, if you have momentum, you get to use the second ability. If you don't, you get to have momentum. <coughs> it's really nice. Nothing special here. We see the same specialist sounds. We do see recovery girl's kiss, I guess. Uh, we do see some note taking. We do see pull no punches here at three. So maybe this deck needs to get added in the deck. In my main deck. Yeah, besides Missouri Smash, everything is pretty set up the same way. All right, cool. Really nice deck. This is a 20, 32, so 52, 56 card deck with a Kirishima side. <laughs> I doubt if we even use them. Because uh, LY3 is much more stronger than Kirishima right now. Moving on, guys. Thomas Bagwell. <coughs> Ochaka Life. Another Ochaka Life. Uh, he does run Release. He does run Amphibious at 2 only. Very similar deck to the other one. 4 Walklings. Uh, two amphibious, one new is ex extremely similar to the last deck we guys have uh, that we just saw, guys. Difference is, I think there's more zero gravity lift uh, than setup strikes. Yeah, here there's one less, <coughs> and uh, yeah, I guess he just added one more. No, he has the same number of attacks. So, what the hell did he remove? I know he reduced setup strike by one. But he, uh, he added zero gravity lift. What else did he remove? Did he move home run comet by one? No, it's the same. Oh, I don't know. Maybe amphibious ambush by one? Yeah, amphibious ambush by one. Okay, that's what happened. And then two plus ultras, and then he has the rest of his cards here. It does run zero gravity capture? I guess it's nice to add into the momentum, but it's not going to hit very easily. Unless you're using set of strike before it. But you could give the speed to your attack too with Uchako. I guess it's not that bad. Yeah, guys, I uh, really like this. I mean, it's very similar to air. It's just, it gets, I guess, it does get bonds of friendship. You get, you do get passing the torch. You get self-sacrifice. You get release. 
you get tight lipped you get absurd i mean they're not bad cards passing the torch by itself i would run life just for that um Brandon Jones was number nine with his SOE, uh, Refutable Force of Nature, stuff like that, Self Assured, Sticky Balls, uh, Rescue Complete Observance Turn in Desperate, Eat My Sticky Balls, Frigid Heat Wave at 3, Ice Storm, Frog Kicks, he is actually using Frog Kicks. <coughs> He does run Kamui Woods too. Refutable Force Finisher, Walkling, what's their plan? Grasping Tip Toss. And Toru. Wow. I guess it's water. Water is the way to go. Toru and Kamui Woods. Wow. Amazing side deck. Nothing <clears throat> besides the side deck. I mean, this is a pretty regular frog deck, right? We see. Well, we do see a lot of creepy realizations. <clears throat> I don't know if this is to give him damage or to take away from his from his opponent's damage. But yeah, we only see two first villain encounters. Interesting deck, guys. Let's move on. Eighth place is Carson Pano with his Nomu. He does run Nomu. That's where all the memes came from. Turn to dust at four. Signature right swing at two. How is there at four? So he wants to destroy his own foundations. Naval laser beam. Berserker blow at four at three. This one destroys foundations. So if he uses this into howitzer, that's pretty good. Merciless rush, decaying grip at two. What else destroys his own foundations? Mediator can destroy his own foundations. Um, that's it. He does run two price of fur piece. Oh, that's really good card for death uh, for four, five handers. That's true. That's really good, actually. Evil guys have four. Such a good defensive card. Such a good defensive card. Oh, you, you could destroy your own foundation with turn to dust too. Okay, cool. I get it now. That's why Howitzer is there. That's freaking insane. And then he does run decaying grip. Night watch. That's insane that this deck is actually taking wins. Night Watch. Remove and remove one action card from your discard pile. And after your rival plays a non-character enhanced, cancel it. I mean, that's really great. You wait for somebody to flip his card and then you just cancel it or destroy. Night Watch is so good. Apathetic flips. I mean, this guy is so, like, controlly of the opponent. That's so good. This is only sl speed reducer. So if he's going against punch attacks, he'll be he'll do great. And yeah, great deck. I really like it. <clears throat> Moving on, we have Jacob Denardo at seventh place with his All Might. I'm getting a lot of All Mights here. I'm gonna have to start playing this deck. I think this is the deck I'm gonna use next turn, next tournament, for the regionals maybe. Thirty eight foundations. Uh, anything special here? He only has two hardened, that's not too bad. Only two passing the torch, yeah, you really don't need that much. We do need celebrity status, we do need pull no punches, looks like. And it looks like every deck is ran capture evildoers. This one is pretty unique, he does run good impression. Besides that, it's pretty, <clears throat> pretty familiar to us. We have the Pummel. Only two setup strikes, which is weird. It's a really good attack. And then one for all, full cowling, only one of it. I guess he only had one of it, that's why. Plus Ultra at 1. Uh, there is a Determined Victory Smash here. I mean, it's going to be very hard to hit that. Let me see. Only playable with this deck damage 15 or greater. I don't know how you're going to get to 15. Oh, he does run Midoriya. That's how That's how he gets to 15. He literally sides Midoriya. That's freaking amazing. He does run 2 planning ahead. A couple of resistance for some... For the stunners, man, I would run much more resistance. But he is running, uh, it can be fixed, of course, so it doesn't matter. And two more, you, you're so obvious. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, his stun hate is in the side, is what it is. Moving on, this is uh, Rico Cross, 6th place, Uchaku, life. Another life deck, running the passing the torch. Um, yeah, nothing special here. We do see infinite potential because he doesn't have any low blockers. 
Uh, but because he's running light, we get to see him running setup strike and naval laser beam. Yay! <laughs> it's really cool. Two more zero gravity lift in his side deck. Encouraging partner, two of them. Oh, he doesn't have any in the main deck. Why would you run life and not run any encouraging trainer partner in the main deck? Damn. Uh, only 50 cards exactly in this deck. Wow. 17 attacks only. Wow. <clears throat> really unique deck. Moving on, this is Air Ochaku by Jared Hubbard. This is fifth place, guys. This is Air Ochaku, so you're gonna be a, you're gonna see a big difference. Uh, we do run earphone jacks. Uh, I guess there's not a huge difference. Just uh, electric jolts and discriminate shockwave. Specializes sound. Maybe I should add this card to my deck, to my Ochaku. I mean, it's so good. It's so good. It does so much damage. He's running charged up to add momentum. Um, uh, anything else he's running the special he's running arrogant into specialist Does we, do we see one more speed reducer yeah into rescue completed so he's running all their speed reducers possible for air he's running wealthy aspiration he wants a lot of momentum at four that's usually how you run a chaco you just want a bunch of momentum and then he's running some concentrates here uh, a couple more. Oh, all his meteor showers are in the side deck. Weird. I guess he sh he changes them with home run comment. I don't know. Or maybe with special assigned waves. And he's running Toro as well on the side. Yeah, his side deck is... Uh, all his encouraging training partners are in his side deck. I guess uh, encouraging tra training partner is life and air, so it works in both. So it doesn't matter really. Yeah, really cool decks, guys. I'm getting a lot of inspiration. I hope my uh, viewers are as well. Wow, there's a Mina Ashido. What is she? There's a Mina, fourth place, life. That's crazy, guys. That's insane. Wealthy Aspirations at one. Encouraging Trainer Partner at three. She only does that for the flip. Uh, Change the attack to four. Someone with style. This is some stun hate for life. Tight lipped. Glamorous. On flip. Also gives you speed. Uh, passing the torch. Wow, Mina, this is insane. Uh, let me see. Self sacrifice at four, release. Amphibious. Why does she have amphibious? Does she jump cards? No, but she is running Meteor Shower. 22 attacks and 40 foundations and three. So 50, 63 cards. In the deck, Amphibious Ampush at four. Tongue Whip at four. Home run at three. Frog lashing at three. Looks like he does have a trace cheek cape and stage hiding. And never laser beam. Bro, this deck is insane. I have no idea how it runs. Gives a bunch of speed and then just keeps checking, huh? Whenever he checks uh, an attack, he just uses it. I, I'm very surprised there are no six difficulty cards in this deck. Cause that's what Mina likes to do. She likes to have, like, check free, free huge attacks. Insane! I'm very happy to see Mina. My friend was gonna play Mina Chaos in the tournament, but that didn't work out for him. But Mina Life, okay, cool, nice. Moving on, guys. We have uh, third place Nicholas Rogan Sato. Let's see the difference between this Sato. This Sato focused a lot on his uh, kicks, eighteen attacks, reverse throws. Recipro extends future charges. What? What's even happening? Just draws extra. I guess it's a draw plus one, but it's so weak. Does, does he give it any damage or speed in any way? No, he can't give it any speed. He does run four calling for backup, which makes sense, and, and three passing the torch. This is literally his only draw. So, the, I mean, it makes sense to run as much as you can. Bonds of friendship at three, one sticky balls. Does have some electric jolts on the side. Oh man, that's crazy. I can't believe this deck just took it. <laughs> like what? Literally any deck can take it. That's crazy. How? What? There's nothing special. There's not even a lot of stuns in this deck. Just huge speed. Huge damage. Reciprocate to high engine kick is just huge. Reciprocate extend to reciprocate burst is just huge. Alright? And then reverse throw locks in the damage. Locks, locks in freedom. 
plus one with the draw, plus one again, plus one with self sacrifice. You can give it you can get it to eight easily. Nice deck. This is number two, Ryan Fell Field, Ochako Oraka, Oraraka, Chaos. Wow. Indiscriminate Shockwave of four, Ice Storm, Electric Jolt, wow. He's running the good cards here. The the low low attackers. Stronger in darkness because he's running chaos. Oh, it's so good. Encouraging training partner makes sense. Clever distraction. Wow, this is such a good card right here. Minus two speed just for a flip. Wealthy aspirations at three. He wants some uh, foundations. Shock treatment wants a little bit of control. The refutable force of nature. More control. Self-assured uh, draws when he needs them. Charged up more foundations. Uh, sorry, more, more momentum. Infinite potential looks like he barely has any low blocks. He literally has no low blocks. Yeah. Insane. Insane. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm so happy to see this deck in, in second place. This is crazy. Crazy. This is amazing. I can't believe that Ochako is there. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely... She's one of my favorite characters. And I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to try something like this. That's insane. Moving on, guys. Daniel Nelson took it first with his Asui. What I really want to see is, yeah, he did run Kamui Wids on the side. I don't know how many times he sided Kamui, but the deck is insane. 22 attacks into 36 foundations. That's a big number of attacks. You really want to draw all, all of these attacks. Grasping Tape Toss at 1, Ice Storm at 3, Eat My Stick Balls at 3. I can't believe he ran this. This deck is not blocked. Add the top card of your rival's deck to their card pool. That's why. <clears throat> Forces the opponent to block no matter what. Frigid Heat Wave at 3. Allows you to draw more and hopefully draw more attacks. Frog Kick is insane. Uh, it extends your plays. Tongue Whip and Frog Lashing. Anything special in his foundations? Uh, first Villain Encounter. Walkling only at 3. Uh, 4 Desperate Times and 3 Gotchas. So maybe he sees a lot of the opponents drawing. He wants to control them. Self Assured allowing him to draw more. Uh, does run sell rescue complete in the main and creepy realization at four in the main? Okay. Anything in the side deck special? Eat my sticker balls. A refutable force of nature. Nothing really crazy. That's crazy. That's incredible that this deck took first. I'm very happy to see this guys. Uh, that's insane. But this deck, I mean, it can attack seven times in one turn and not feel anything if it checks really good. Anyways, guys, that's it for the tournament results. I'm very interested in your opinions. Go ahead, leave them down in the comment section below. If you're still here and you haven't subscribed, go ahead, subscribe. It's free. It helps me out a lot. And besides that, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.